Here we go, it is back. It's that time again, and we always started off the same, same way. What time is it? One o'clock on a Friday. Jesse, what's that mean? It's Crucible TV time, baby. Way to Crucible. tune in, let's go. Crucible TV, that means you're at lunch. All your students are at lunch. You're gonna be logging in just like Wyatt Hobson what's just up, did, sitting in lunch or sitting in class when you shouldn't be on here, but I'm glad you are. So just be quiet if you're listening to it. Be quiet. Kaylee, Kelsey, what's, what's happening? Kaylee, Kelsey? We are fired up. We're always fired up because we love coming to you on a Friday. We love coming at the end of the week where everybody's kind of loafing into the end of the end of the week, right? They're saying, "Oh, thank God that it's thank God that it's oh, the weekend." It's weekend. We're, we're back to the weekend, and now I can just do whatever I want. I nope. survived. I made it. The made weekend. it through. <laughs> nope. We're gonna amp it up. We're gonna throw a little bit of extra fire in uh, to finish your weekend off. Maryland photographer, what's happening? What's Watching Frederick, Maryland, I like that. Wyatt is in, Wyatt's in science class. Well, keep the volume down low then, big dog. Keep the volume down low. Make sure you're getting your grades. So here we go. We've been talking a lot. We've been talking a lot about what it takes, what do you need to do if you're feeling overlooked, right? Mm -hmm. We have so many athletes, so many people that come in here that feel like they've been overlooked. Right? But on the inside, they still have something to prove. What do we do? Two weeks ago, we talked about a bunch of mindset shifts that we've got to go through. We've got to make a bunch of different mindset shifts first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Then we started talking about, we got to take action. Like, it's great that we decided we to, to, yeah, we got to run the play. It's great that we decided to make all these changes, mm -hmm. but now we, we got to make sure that we're, we're taking action. We got to make sure that we're taking action. Now we're taking action. That's we're right. taking action. We're feeling good, but guess what? Challenges are coming. Challenges are coming, heck Jesse. Yeah, heck and yeah. we have to know how we're going to respond. We have to know how we're going to respond. But I, I want to see what some of these are saying. Yeah, we, we got, got people. We got some people now. showing some love before we even getting into responding. Watching from Frederick, you fire me up so much. It's been going on lately with Dwayne's family. Yeah, sorry, I haven't kept mm -hmm. in touch. Hey, Kelsey, you know, you know, we got your back. I made Joe and Crucible. I'm currently a member at Anytime Fitness. Let's go, let's go, Maryland photographer. I love hearing that. You're what? Wa you're watching from Frederick, Maryland. We're in Frederick, Maryland. That's right. Sounds like a great place to come. Shoot us a message. We'll get you hooked up. I know That's a guy. I know a guy that can I help know you. A couple guys, yeah. Know a guy. So here we go. Hey, but I think something too about this week that Talk really, really gets me Talk excited. Is right when, when we talk about feeling overlooked, and sometimes when you're feeling overlooked, it's like, man, I don't have a lot of confidence. Mm. I don't feel like I have that edge. This mm. week's all about giving you that competitive edge. Let's get those confidence beans mm. going, that confidence juice flowing right mm. there, okay? And let's let's get into it, Coach. Conf I'm fired up the, about today. The confidence beans, he said. We got to get the confidence beans. That's a little beans. bit silly, but what I mean is let's get that confidence going, and let's start building those competitive edges to take that action. So there we go. Minutes. So we took action, and we're in the midst of taking action. And if you guys have ever gone on a journey, you know that you're going to encounter a roadblock. You know that you're going to encounter challenges along the way. You know you're going to, you just know that that is going to happen. Well, if we know that that's going to happen, a smart person or a smart team or a smart whatever is going to plan how they are going to respond. We talked about that in a mindset, week one mindset, where we're talking about, are we going to react to challenges or are we going to respond to the challenges? You know, we got a big Ravens fan here in Jesse working in a black and yellow gym. It, it stresses him out, but think about what the Ravens do, right? Any football team, right? They go through weeks of practice. They go through a week of Very practice. Funny. Film studying, they're studying. What happens if this happens? If this happens, this is how we are going to respond. They don't just have a bunch of athletes out on the field reacting however they feel, right? They know specifically how they will respond in any situation. And then if we've been practicing all week, if we've communicated, I can know what Jesse's gonna do before he actually does it because I know how he's gonna respond. He knows how I'm gonna respond. It's not us just saying, oh, you got, you got, I got, you got, uh, we already know. So that's what we're going to encourage you to start doing today. Let's make that plan. Drew, what's happening? We see you, baby. And I think that plan, I know that plan is so important because we think about it. When do we normally make the most mistakes, right? We normally, make, whether it's right there, you're watching, right, it's football season. You watch a player make an 
interception, a bonehead decision because they got pressure in their face or something like that. They, they react and make an unnecessary forced throw, right? Well, sometimes we make unnecessary forced throws when we react in life, whatever the challenge may be thrown at us. So we gotta make sure we are responding to it, right? When this comes at me, what's my plan? What's my battle plan for that? Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. So here we go, Drew, I got you. Hey, a little, here's a little uh, commercial break, a little commercial break here for you, Drew. We're working with a company. Soon we're gonna be allowing you guys to purchase shirts online. So that way, no matter where you're at, no matter where you're watching from, you can buy some crucible gear. What do you think about that, Drew? I see you, baby. So, commercial break over. We're getting into it. So this plan that we're creating, this plan, I like to call it a when life works list. When life is working really well, these are the things that I'm doing. Because so often, we'll, we'll get going and that initial preparation happens and we might get a little bit of momentum and then we start getting away maybe from some of the things that were allowing us to do really really well like man i was feeling really really good when i was eating right or mm -hmm. when i was going to bed on time when or I when i was prioritize my workouts whatever it was but because i started feeling good i i slacked off on some of that stuff and uh now i'm not feeling as good right mm -hmm. think about foam rolling everybody yeah. wants to foam roll when they're hurting we should be foam rolling when every we feel day. great, right? We should be foam rolling all the time or stretching or taking care of our bodies every day, not just when it is hurt. So we're gonna challenge you and we're gonna kind of guide you through some of the areas that we like to really focus in on and look at of your when life works list. So that way you have something tangible you can go and come back to when the challenges come. Okay, when things are going well, these are the things that I'm going to stay true to. These are the things I'm gonna say true to. And we talk a lot, we talk a lot about our different areas, physically, mm -hmm. intellectually, psychologically, emotionally, spiritually. We talk about those areas of just health and wellness a lot. So I was just gonna run down through some of the things that I try to do, that, that we try yeah, to do, absolutely. right? Physically, for me, it's working out. I've gotta work out at least four to five times a week of some sort of movement for me to be feeling good. That's right. Okay, I, I have to. Jesse, what do you do? What, what Do you have any goals as far as moving every week? I, if, if I'm not getting my workout in, guys, I'm mm -hmm. actually, I get antsy, mm -hmm. I get anxious, and I can't, I have a hard time focusing on what's really important. So sometimes to be able to pour out, you need to pour into yourself mm -hmm. in certain ways. And working out for me, that mm -hmm. is a big part of it. If if I'm not feeling it with my workouts, if I'm not, if mm -hmm. I if it if my workouts aren't increasing my confidence and I'm not getting rocking, mm -hmm. I, I have a hard time pouring that same love into other people. Yeah. You know, and so that's that is such a a big big part of it too. Yeah, we got to get moving. Our bodies mm -hmm. are meant to move when we're moving, when we're taking care of it. So that and that's not even just exercise, right? We're gonna have yeah. all those hormones, those good feel good hormones released. We have that confidence, like man, mm -hmm. I did this today. Our bodies are healthy, or we're thinking more. But man, I'll tell you, for me, just moving physically helps me clear my head, That's right? right? It, it's, it's more that mental, get your mind right thing for me. So from a physical standpoint, what works best for you? When you're feeling absolutely the best physically, what are you doing? How are you eating, mm -hmm. right? What, what kind of stuff are you eating? Are you, are you tracking your calories or are you not tracking them? Are you eating a great breakfast? Are you... Uh, not eating late? Are you staying away from sugars? Are you drinking uh, water? Are you staying away from soda? Are you drinking coffee? What can, works well? Can I tell you something that I've been doing, guys? I might sound like a complete psycho here, but I've been tracking all my calories for almost a whole year. I've tracked almost all the calories I've ate for a whole year, and it, it helps me. That, that helps me, just knowing what I'm putting into my body, yeah. knowing that I'm hydrating, that I'm physically nourishing myself, um, and also there's been some days where I'm like, holy smokes, I'm not getting enough nutrition and I'm doing a bad job taking care of myself. It helps me bounce back a little bit quicker. We talk about having that plan, you know what I mean? Keeping track of what's going on mm -hmm. helps you when you're on that plan, when yeah. you're on that mission. So. Absolutely. So physically, for me, it helps physically. How do I feel? But for me, it also helps my psychological standpoint, right? I'm feeling better about myself. I know that I'm not always gonna feel like working out, 
but man, I always feel great after I do. There's never been a time that I've worked out and been like, daggone, why did I work out? No, I always feel so good, and I always feel better on those days when I didn't feel like it, but I went ahead and did but it you do anyways, it anyways. right? Yeah. So I'm gonna challenge you, physically, take, take note. When do you feel the best? Because there's gonna come a time that you're gonna be challenged along this next road, and we wanna be physically in a good spot. So how, what are we doing? Intellectually, right? So our, our, our brain, right? Our brain. How are you challenging yourself? When do you feel best with your own noggin? Are you reading? Are you challenging yourself? I, I do something called masterclass. I'm sure you guys have seen that. Like I love just sitting on there and maybe starting my day and just listening to somebody teach me something about something maybe that I, it, it isn't even relevant, but it's interesting to learn. My daughter has been loving planets lately mm -hmm. so we've been watching a ton of stuff on planets and it's been just fascinating to me reading and listening to just the solar system things i haven't thought about in ages so when you're feeling sharpest what are you doing also on the other side when you're feeling dull right what are you doing if you're scrolling on social media a ton and all of a sudden you get done with that social media and you're just like uh in a brain dead like yeah brain dead yeah. kind of thing maybe maybe that's a a sign that you know what we we gotta be off we gotta be off our social media right mm -hmm. i don't feel as sharp i was doing something the other day i was just doing a simple math thing and i was like Ugh. like i didn't feel as sharp as i wanted to feel so right. i was like you know what i gotta get my mind right i just gotta do more math problems i gotta do more just Some stuff Sudoku. right without you know, without allowing my head to be brain dead. It's so easy to allow our brains to be just brain dead and have something else calculate math or just do things for us. So, but if you're in a challenge, we need to be thinking right. We need to be thinking clear. So what are you doing to challenge yourself intellectually? When are you at your best? And I think a lot of it too with the intellectually comes with, this might sound a little bit wild at first, but it's who you surround yourself with. Mm. Um, for instance, conversation. Mm. Right, the people that you hang around with, like, are you guys are you guys having an intellectual conversation? Yeah. Or are you talking about yeah. uh, dumb stuff all the time? You know, yeah. it's okay to talk about dumb stuff every now and then, but like, are, Is are it you challenging you? Are you are you challenging? Like, I want to challenge you guys right there. Have an intellectual conversation. Mm -hmm. Try to go out there and have an intellectual conversation yeah. today. Um, I, I I was just having a good conversation mm -hmm. uh, with Rye before this. You know. Yep. It was, it was good. That that's that's important because then you know that you got people that are pushing you. Yeah. You know, because um, intellectually, right? If we always focus on the way that we only think, mm -hmm. we become very narrow-minded. Oh, you yep. know, and um, sometimes making great, right? We always say life is the decisions we make, and we got to make great decisions. If we're making narrow-minded decisions, we, we might not be making the best decisions right. out there. So surrounding yourself with other people, keeping an open mind to other opinions and, and formulating yep. thoughts together, that's, that's intellectually gonna push you right there too. So here we go, big challenge for intellectual. Next time you're out at dinner and your significant other or somebody goes to the bathroom, don't pick up your phone. Don't scroll. Don't pick up your phone just because you're the only one sitting at the table, refuse. Not even to check my fantasy team, though. You, use your noggin. Get used to being with yourself. That's right. Check in your own head. Ponder things. Think about things. That's how we can keep this guy sharp. So less, less letting things think about it, more pondering. Psychologically, when do you feel best psychologically? When are you feeling the best? What's your morning routine like? Are you waking up and you're reading something good? Or are you allowing the world to to think for you the first thing you do is pop on social media and then you see that that one post from that one person and it's like dag on and now my whole lens for the day is jacked up because i saw something on there or do we have a system a routine to allow yourself to get into the right state right whether it's getting ready for a big game whether it's your day whether you're getting ready to go into a uh, a meeting with somebody you have a uh, I, I gotta have a difficult conversation with jesse i gotta get in the right framework to make sure that i can convey what i need to whatever it is i'm, I'm a coach and i need to have a, a tough conversation or a great conversation where are you at what are you doing to allow yourself to be in that best spot psychologically what are you listening to like he said, who are you surrounding yourself with? And what is your plan to allow yourself to be in a spot that when you start your day, you're starting it off in the best way possible to where you get to dictate the day rather than just reacting to the day? Mm -hmm.
What do you do, Jesse? What do you do in the first thing in the morning? Oh, first thing in the morning, if I've been, we've been, first thing in the morning I do is I, I go on Bible study. I, I yep. go on Bible study, and if if I'm and if I'm not in Bible study, I'm yep. normally waking up a little bit earlier and getting my word in before a six a.m. session. That's right. And uh, guys, I've been doing this is another thing I've been doing for about a year, and it mm. has fundamentally changed my life. Mm. Um, I can I can genuinely say that it helps me nice. make greater decisions. Um, it helps me make greater decisions out on the coaching floor, mm -hmm. and uh, I I'm, I believe it helps me make greater decisions outside of the gym too yeah and uh that, that that's something that works for me a lot too and um psychologically too when it comes to making decision making this is another good advice i was i was talking with a good friend they were having a hard time making this decision and they said that i asked them i said well what dr which side of the decision drains your energy the most mm -hmm. and Normally, if something, right, your emotions are horrible decisions makers, but they're also trying to tell you something. And if something is draining your energy and making you feel anxious, that's probably not psychologically benefiting you, you know? And, and we're talking about finishing the year off strong and building good momentum for the next year. You know, it's always okay to kind of just take that moment and say, hey, like, what's, mm -hmm. what's draining my energy? What's making me anxious? And then taking a moment and say, what's filling me up? What's yep. making me make great decisions? Yep. And, um, yeah, so. and it all, but again, like what you just said, it all starts at the beginning. Setting your frame for the day and getting yourself into that position to say, you know what? No matter what comes at me, my posture, my posture is I'm ready for it. My posture is I'm ready for the great stuff, the great blessing that God's gonna give me, or I'm ready for this challenge that God's gonna give me because you know what? Either way, it's gonna allow me to grow, it's gonna allow me to, to be the person I'm meant to be. And um, I'm just gonna talk about beginning my day. I'll even write down something that sticks out to me from Bible study mm. out on a piece of paper and I carry it around with me throughout the day mm. and I'll read it to myself throughout the day so I make sure I, that I'm I'm not mm. losing that momentum as the day goes on and, and sometimes that also works too so I that, love that's a, another little hack that's that I good do. stuff Danielle what's happening Casey Maryland I see you yeah 4 a.m. eat shower leave at 5 45 for work you're an early riser I like, I that. like that get up I and like get that. going let's go so there we go so we're talking about emotionally we're gonna wrap this up here soon emotionally when are you at your best when are you at your best? Because we want to make sure that, just like Jesse said, we're not allowing the emotions to, to dictate where we go, what we do. Again, we're talking about challenges right now. We're talking about being faced with a challenge. That's going to be scary. We're going to have fear. We're going to have all those things pos probably popping up into our, into our lives. But we have options. We have a decision to make. And we need to pre-plan when life is working best. I deal with fear or I deal with emotion in this way right I love the acronym fear is either one of two things face face everything and run or face everything and rise the same acronym same emotion but how are we dealing with I it are, are we running away from it or are we running to it because we see it as an opportunity and we're allowing that emotion to amplify what it is that we're doing but again this is that when life works list I know I operate best when I am running towards the fear, when I am running towards that thing that's uncomfortable. It, it doesn't feel good in the moment, but I know my life is working best when I am doing that. So I'm going to preset, I'm gonna pre-plan just like a, a play in football, the chaos. Okay, chaos is going on, I know how I'm going to respond. There's chaos, I'm facing that challenge, I'm scared, I'm fearful, this is where I'm going to make sure that my emotions are in check. Mm, that's spot on right there. Boom! Wow. And then here we go, spiritually. That's the final area that we're at. Where's your spirit at? When you are feeling spiritually in the best place, what are you doing, right? What are you doing? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Jesse talked about, we, we have a Bible study every day, Monday through Friday at 6.30, where a group of us will get online and we, we, we're just running through the Bible. And we're going chapter by chapter and we discuss it and we talk about it and we talk about how it applies to our lives and how we can take those, those lessons and those principles and say, you know what, this is how we can take this and apply it to our, our own lives, to our own families, to our uh, clients here at, at Crucible. How can we serve them in a better way? How can we serve them in a more Christ-like way? So for us, the, when our spiritual life is working best is when we're communicating. 
consistently and when we're consistently in the word and we're consistently talking about it he's writing down bible verses uh to carry with him throughout the day that's allowing him to work best so for us that's what works well for us might not be what works well for you but figure we'll out what is that thing that allows you to spiritually be at your best right yeah. when when the challenges do come because challenges are going to come we, we already know that that's why you're going after this thing so hard you feel like you've been overlooked that's a challenge in of itself. You're on the path, you're taking action, and more challenges come. How are we gonna to respond to it? That's right, that's right. And, right? A, and, a, and, a, and a huge part of the spiritual aspect too is, is there's a community aspect. Mm. That you, right, when you are part of something bigger than yourself and yeah. you ha have the, you realize that, mm. right? Life is pretty, yeah. life is, is definitely not boring. That's, that's right. for sure. And, and you're excited and you're fired up to wake up every day when you're part of something like that and you know it and you go all in on that. There we you go. Know, so. Boom. Yeah. So there we go. It's Friday. We see some of you guys popping on. Mike, what's happening? Anita, good to see you. Luke, I don't know if that's you, Luke, on there, but uh, good to see you there, Luke. But guys, when life is working best, I want you to take note and take, take, write it down, physically write it down. This is what is happening in my life when life is working best because we all know Challenges are going to come. We know challenges are come. And if you haven't faced a challenge yet, guess what? You're going to. So how are we going to respond? Just like that football team, just like that, you know, baseball, whatever it is, choose how you are going to respond. Life is the decisions we make. And we need to make sure that we are making great decisions to propel us to where it is that we're wanting to go. Because remember, we feel overlooked, but we know we have something to prove on the inside. What are those decisions that are going to, going to allow us to prove what it is that we have on the inside? So there we go, guys. That is That's our awesome, right? Crucible TV on a Friday. We thank you so much for hopping in and popping in. Man, Anita, like I said, Luke, Gorilla Mike, Maryland photographer, I don't even know your name on there. Uh, but man, we look forward to hearing from you guys. Kelsey, if there's anything that we can do for you, if there's any topic that you want us to cover or you have questions on or you just want to know more about what it is that we're doing here, just at Crucible as we are walking alongside you. Right, that is our goal to walk alongside right. you on this journey through your challenges to know. help you go beyond what you believe is possible. Right? God made you for a purpose, for something specific, and we want to help you go beyond what you even believe is possible. So that's what we're doing here, and uh, this is just a small part of it here on Fridays at one o'clock. But man, we love connecting with you, Nick. I love it. Life is a challenge during these trying times. Amen. And guess what? I'm a big believer that those challenges are happening for us, not to us so guys we love y'all anita we love, love you. you too you love guys are guys. awesome and we will see you next friday on crucible tv